Hello everybody, and today I am back with another editor editing video. Uh, as of right now, I've only done Ghost Recon Igor editor missions. The uh, that, That's just a mission editor. Halo, you can do more stuff. But today I am going to be covering Sapien, and a lot more than Sapien, because uh, with Halo, there's, kind of, there's a lot of stuff. There's extracting tags and rebuilding scenarios there's a lot more to do to just get started but uh first to get started you need pretty much four of these things um this halo editing kit thing there's uh, two versions one in 2005 one in 06 i don't think it really matters i i guess i'd go with the 06 version but um if you have tried to use Sapien and all this stuff, you've probably run into the problem. You might have run into the problem of uh, Sapien just closing as soon as you open a scenario or try to. Like, you know how to extract tags and all that, but Sapien just says, nope, not going to work. And I've had that too. And for hours, I've tried to figure out what the hell to do. There's like something about antivirus. There's something about setting affinity and making sure only one CPU is running Sapien. A bunch of... Stuff that didn't work. But then finally, I found out that it's it, it matters in which order you install all this stuff. In fact, that's the only way it works. So if you... Uh, the order is to do the Halo Custom Edition first. I'll have all this stuff in the description all linked. Uh, I, I guess I'll link both the editing kits. I don't think it matters. But the order is Halo Editing Kit... No. Halo Custom Edition, then Halo Editing Kit, then you put your, uh, you just drag the Halo Editing Kit plus, uh, this full, yeah, this folder into your, well, to be honest, you don't need to drag it anywhere. You can just run it straight from here, but it's best to have it with your, uh, your root directory in your, hold on, I'll show you quick, uh, in your Halo Custom Edition folder, the uh, drag this folder in here, so it's like this. It's just easier to have all this right there. But then after you do all of that, then you run, you have to move this into that same root folder, the 1.0.10 patch, and then you run that. And then everything should work fine, because what I did before is I installed, I installed Custom Edition, then I did the patch, then I installed this and moved that in there, and this and this did not work. So you want this, install this, install this, move that, install that. And it should work. I haven't had any problems with Sapien or Halo Editing Kit Plus. I haven't had to change the compatibility mode. I haven't had to do anything. So hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I, I don't know. But, now that all that's out of the way, uh, what next? Okay, yeah, we have to extract tags, which is using Halo Editing Kit Plus. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, when you install Halo Custom Edition, it'll automatically set your, set the, uh, what's it called? The install folder on your C drive, Program Files 86, Microsoft Games. And you just want to leave it there until you're finished installing everything. Because when you have to install Halo Editing Kit, it will look for the fo for the place you installed Halo Custom Edition. So just make sure everything's installed to where the computer decides. And then after that, you can take it and just move it somewhere else like I did to my D drive. But once all that's installed, everything should be fine. So now we can get started with the actual stuff what am i here we go so um yeah we go to yeah we go to halo editing kit plus we open hek plus.exe and this is to basically extract the dot scenario files that sapien runs along with all the other tags for that which uh if you're opening just uh, multiplayer stuff, you'll have uh, weapon tags, vehicle tags, and that's you'll have a lot more, but those are the big ones. And if you open a campaign map, you'll have the actor tags, which is all the, the Covenant, Humanity, 
UNSC, like same thing, and the Flood and Sentinels, depending on which mission you open. And you'll also get weapons and vehicles, depending on what's actually in the mission. But first, um, oh, if you installed all this into your, uh, the uh, C drive, you want to go to Options, Plugins, and you want to make sure this little, uh, the default tags folder is set to where you moved it. So if you di just did a fresh install, this would probably be C drive, program files 86, uh, games, or Microsoft, Microsoft games, Halo custom edition, and then tags. So you want to go and find where you did it, which mine is D drive games, Microsoft games, Halo custom edition, and then tags. So now we actually open a map. So you go to file open. And uh, these are all the campaign maps, which opening campaign and multiplayer maps doesn't matter. Uh, these are all the Halo, the actual, the actual Halo game maps, which is pretty much the only way you can extract all the tags from campaign stuff. Because if you go to Halo Custom Edition, it's just multiplayer maps. But uh, right now we just want to open a map and get in Sapien. Uh, so, let's, uh, Timberland, yeah, that's a good one. Let's go to Timberland, you just double click on that, uh, then to s select all the tags, you right click in the empty white space, select all, make sure all your tags are, all these folders are, uh, blue, it's selected, then you right click anywhere in the blue, add to extract, uh, act, add to that thing, you <laughs> totally just... In when you're out the other. Er. Okay, whatever. You, hold on. Add to extraction queue. There we go. Jeez. You, you uncheck save extracted uh, tag list. Uh, I don't, that doesn't really matter. I guess it's better to just leave it unchecked. But then you hit start and it'll just rip all the tags and the scenario file so we can open it in Sapien and use whatever weapons or vehicles are on it. And it does look like there's an actor variant. That's probably, yeah, those are, yeah, that's vehicles. So I guess uh, vehicles are considered actors. But there we go. Now, and we'll come back, yeah, we'll come back to Halo Editing Kit Plus. And every time you do that, you want to close, oh, hold on. Yeah, close, close all. So now we go back to Sapien. Not back to, we go to Sapien for the first time. And Sapien, uh, where the scenario files are located is in the tags folder. So Halo Custom Edition, tags, and then it's not maps. Oh, there is no maps file. There's levels. And then these are all the campaign missions, which I think they only have basic stuff in here. I think I did, yeah, I extracted some of these the dot scenarios, but. Every time I've tried to uh, load any campaign scenario, it, it Sapien crashes or just refuses to load it. But uh, all the multiplayer works, all the multiplayer maps have worked so far. So we just extracted Timberland. Okay, so you go Halo Custom Edition, Tags, Levels, Test, then you find the map you extracted, and then you open the dot .scenario file. And since you installed it properly, it should it should just open like this. Uh, we got tool window. We don't need that. We got whatever the hell this is. You're pretty much just going to be using the hierarchy view, properties, palette, and game window. <laughs> I haven't... You Obviously, you'll probably eventually use the other windows, but I haven't... Uh, I've tried to look into those campaign maps, but uh, to figure out more stuff like triggers and scripting and stuff like that, but I they won't open, so I haven't been able to, I guess, reverse engineer a lot of stuff. But, uh, oh yeah, basic movement controls in Sapien. Um, if you if you just hold nothing and move your mouse, it does nothing. It's just a cursor. You can go select stuff. If you start hitting buttons, it's gonna go to all this other stuff. But if you want to move around in the game window, you press down. The middle mouse button 
your cursor will disappear, and then you can look around, and WASD will move you around. R and F will make you rise and fall, and uh, shift will make you go faster. And I don't think, I yeah, I don't think there's a way to like slow down, so you'll have to cycle through. Yeah, there. So you just cycle through speeds pretty much with shift, and you can just move move around like that. You can just uh, phase through anything. And that's the uh, basic movements for Sapien. And now, um, yeah, I'll go back to the to uh, Halo Editing Kit Plus because we want to place a weapon, we want to place AI, and we want to place a um, player spawn, which that map already has a bunch of player spawns, but yeah. So if you wanted to uh, place a uh, assault rifle or something, you have to get all the tags first. And I'm not going to re-extract all these, but I guess I'll show you some good maps. Uh, yeah, Halo Combat Evolved, the base game. Then you go to maps for Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, and all these... If it has, like, a random letter and number after it, it's a campaign mission. So you got Pillar of Autumn, Halo, The Truth and Reconciliation, Silent Cartographer, uh, Assault on the Control Room, 343 Guilty Spark, Library, Two Betrayals, Keys, and The Maw. And, uh... Um... A Pillar of Autumn's pre pretty good for UNSC stuff. There's a lot of Marines. The first two are good for Marines and Covenant. You'll... Other than Zealots and Special Forces, you'll pretty much get everything for the Covenant. And I think you get everything for the UNSC with those two missions. So you just load these up, do the exact same extraction process, and all the tags will be there in the tags folder when you need to use them or get them in Sapien. Um, for the Flood, the Library, obviously, uh, that's literally just Flood and Sentinels on that one. And then for Covenant, Special Forces, the only two levels with Special Forces would be the last two. Which, I think they only have Elites and Grunts for Special Forces. Which, thank God, because if there were Jackal Special Forces, that would be a nightmare. Um, there are Jackal Special Forces for Halo 2, they're called Jackal Snipers. But if you extract Pillar of Autumn, Halo, uh, Library keys in the mall you'll you'll probably get every weapon every tag in the game and for vehicles uh, assault on the control room you'll probably get everything yeah there's a scorpion warthog banshees turrets wraith ghost i think that's i think that's most of the uh, vehicles in halo yeah, Sultan of the Control Room is probably the best for vehicles, and 2B Trails would probably be the best for vehicles, too, which they're the same map, pretty much. Um, and you'll get the Zealot, uh, the, the Golden Elite, from either of these. So yeah, just extract those, and you'll have uh, Actor tags to spawn AI, you'll have Weapon tags, and Vehicle tags. So, there we go. And I've already extracted all that, so... Back to Sapien, and first... Yeah, I think we'll go to, uh... Actually, no, we'll get... We'll start... We will set up a scenario we can use. So, it's basically copying a mission. So, we'll go to tags... Uh, levels... Test, and you have all your stuff, and you can see I already did this with Damnation. I did Damnation, and then I, I pretty much just copied that here and did Bob Damnation. And then you have your Damnation scenario, which you can rename later. Uh, so let's let's do the exact same thing with uh, Timberland. Let's let's uh, just create a folder. Let's do Bob Timberland. Did I spell that right? Yeah. So you do Bob, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And you take all the stuff in here. Copy all that. Paste it in Timberland. And it's basically a copy of Timberland. You can do whatever you want. 
you could, yeah, we'll leave the scenario in there, but we'll end up deleting this later. That's really just a placeholder, so we can do save as and name the scenario whatever we want to. So we'll open that, and it's just Timberland. And we can do whatever the hell we want with that. Oh, and uh, you should probably in, uh, where are we? When you go to maps, you should probably just uh, do a backup with all this stuff, just in case weird shit happens. <laughs> and you could do a you could do a, a backup with uh, all this stuff too, but yeah. And you know, if you really really screw up, you could just reinstall everything. <laughs> it it doesn't take a whole lot. You do you just do custom edition editing kits. You know, everything, just make sure you do the patch last, the 1.0.10 patch. Just make sure you do that last, and then everything should work. But now we have our own little scenario, and we'll go back to Sapien. There we go. Go to Bob Timberland. Open the Timberland scenario. And... Well, I suppose we could get rid of all these vehicles just to do stuff, so... Yeah, you open the mission. Um, vehicles would be in objects. E units, and then vehicles, and then we have all the vehicles right here. So, yeah, might as well just get rid of all this stuff. There we go. And now, empty. Empty map. Ready to go for anything. And now to place a weapon, you would pretty much go, you go to items instead of units. And then the weapons right here. Uh, for equipment, I would assume that's health packs, grenades. Health packs and grenades, I think. But we'll, we'll just place a weapon. Yeah, what, what other equipment is there other than those two? Weapons, or, uh, grenades, and health packs. I don't remember. This isn't like Halo Reach or something where there's like 50,000 weird-ass things. Alright. So, for weapons, uh, to place a weapon, you, pr you just select the weapons folder, and then you right-click. You don't have to hold down the mouse button, the middle mouse button. You just right-click, and then you get this little, uh thing which is a weapon you can rotate it with these on whichever axis it is and then the part that makes it run is the properties palette which we have to we have to go to edit types we have to get tags for all the weapons and all the stuff we're gonna place which is type so uh you hit edit type and then object class we go to weapon hit add and then it's basically like finding a tag for the uh, the scenario. You go to Halo Custom Edition, the, the root folder. You go to your tags folder. Scroll down to weapons. And you saw vehicles. Uh, ooh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Oops. I just created a new folder. Oops. You got vehicles right here. And then characters, which is the AI. The weapons. And then uh, here's my new folder. Let's get rid of that. You got plasma rifle. Let's go with that. And you should have after you extract all those campaign missions, you should have a lot of a lot of stuff here. So let's go. Yeah, plasma rifle. Actually, hold on. I can I can find out what equipment is right there, right here. Uh, can I? Where's E? All right. I guess I can't figure out what equipment is. All right. Oh, uh, plasma rifle. Uh, you open the dot weapon. It's basically like a the same thing as a scenario. You hit add tag. You can double click or, or hit add tag. Now you're done. Okay. Then you set type to whatever tag you selected, and now it's a plasma rifle on the ground right there. And uh, this is a plasma weapon. So rounds left and rounds loaded. I'm not sure about that. I assume if you if you leave it at zero, it'll just max it out for both. So we'll just leave it at that. And then the only other thing you really want to click is initially at rest. So it just kind of falls. Yeah, let's 
rotator like that. So it's on the ground. And there we go. Now we got a weapon. And uh, when you when you load in game, it should just be sitting right there. You should be able to pick it up. No problem. Now, let's uh, let's do player starting points. We got a lot because it's a multiplayer map. Uh, uh, all this stuff, the, the weapons, the vehicles, the AI, the starting points, everything is the same. Whoa. Everything's the same. You just right click in the game window and it'll spawn it. And uh, I don't think we have a name for this. Where is it? Yeah, I completely lost the name. Uh, but let's just go ahead and delete all this. There we go. Right click, add one. Can I rename this? No, you can't. Okay. Now, I have I have had a little bit of trouble with this. I don't fully understand it yet, but we have... Oh, jeez. Yeah, look at this. But basically, these are all the types that the spawner is used for, and you can pretty much do all games. Uh, that didn't work for... Assault was the game mode. So I'm not entirely sure about all this. Type 0. All except... Or ra yeah, and with... With all these little... These drop-down menus, they're... They're very hard to read. Like, the, the words are cut off. Almost halfway. It's really annoying. What does that say? I don't know what that says. But you have all games, all except uh, capture the flag, all except race capture the flag, and then you got none. Uh, we'll try just having type zero as all games and see what happens. But uh, now we go to, you could save the scenario as Timberland, but that'll probably be, uh, that'll probably What's the word? That, that'll that be a problem with the actual Timberland. So we want to go to save scenario as. And we'll do... Well, we can just do that. And this is why we're going to delete that scenario uh, later. So we'll do... Same as the map name. We'll just do Bob Timberland for the scenario. And there we go. We should be able to just spawn in. After we like rebuild the map. Which is something we got to do in a little bit here. So, that, we placed a weapon, we placed a spawn point. Save, what the f I thought I already did that. Yeah, you can just control S, that'll work on this. You have to hit it like two times or something to get it to show up on there. But there we go, that's saved. Now, whoa. Now we go back to the, uh, all the way back to the, the file, the folder. And we can delete that because we don't need it anymore. And that, that will not affect this scenario. And you cannot uh, build... You can't have two scenarios in one map folder. So every scenario, every individual map or scenario you want to play on, it has to be an entire folder like this. Like, uh, you can't... You can't go to Damnation have damnation.scenario, and then create another one in there, name something else, and then, like, rebuild it to have it play on the map in the game. So you have to do exactly what I did. You have to create another, an entire new folder, which is basically just a copy of the map, name it a little different, then you can do what you need to do. Which is where command prompt comes in. Which is actually, if you want to... Uh, you could just open command prompt from here directly, but then you have to type in way more stuff. So I think if you go to system32, you can just copy command prompt.exe into this folder. And then when you open it, it'll have this already written. But if you open it, if you just open it from, from your, uh, whatever this is, you'll have to type in the, the entire directory to here. 
So it's better just to get uh, command prompt .ex or cmd.exe in here so it, all this is already there for you. So now after all the sapien stuff is saved on a different scenario and all that, and here you want to, this is where the uh, this little tool thing comes in. We don't actually run it. We tell command prompt to run it. So what we type is tool space build dash cache dash file with a space. And uh, you tell the tool to build cache file, whatever the hell that means. And then you, uh, and it basically already starts, it starts in the tags folder pretty much. So you would type levels slash, then you go to, you would go to test slash, you find your map you want to add. So we'll do Bob Timberland. And then you do the scenario, which is the exact same name, Bob Timberland. Then you hit enter and it'll say this and it'll do its work. And as soon as that shows up again, it's done. So, um, yeah, now we can go play it. So we'll go, oh, hold on. Yeah, one more thing. When you try to get Halo to run, actually, hold on, I gotta, shit. Yeah, we got to open and, yeah. If you, if you have a shortcut or something, even with all the patch, the patch run, the updates done, Halo Custom Edition will have, still have problems running. So what you do, it, it'll basically, the, the, the game will be too small for the resolution. And it just, it'll just not work. So what you do is you create a shortcut, go to properties. And then in target, you pretty much add, you do a space. And then you do all this dash vid mode 1920 comma 1080. And then it'll, it'll run perfectly fine. And you pretty much do that for the original Halo and custom edition. So now I can move that back right there and we'll run custom edition and the scenario should show up there you go multiplayer land there we go i already did bomb uh <laughs> damnation i have another bob right here and we want to go to bob timberland uh i set the player I set the player uh, spawn point to all games, so it should work. But if you have if you have problems with that, you can just uh, you can just leave all the all the spawns that are already there. In fact, I could probably look through all those spawns and just kind of figure out exactly what does what. But changing that sp the player spawn is not necessary. So we'll see if this works. Slayer. It did, and. Here we go. There's no vehicles on the map. There's our plasma rifle we placed. And yeah, it's maxed out, so the uh, um, the ammunition, uh, the rounds, the rounds left and rounds loaded, I guess just set those to zero if you want it maxed. If you don't, you can change it to whatever. I assume that would be just percentages for the plasma stuff. Then, like, if you put 80, it would be at 80% or something. But there we go. Uh, that's placing a weapon. And now, we will go place an AI. And this is getting a little long for me. But there we go. That's how that's done. And every time you make a change to your scenario, you have to come back in command prompt and uh, redo what happened. But every time you do that, since uh, it's the last thing you put in, all that, the... Uh, the tool build, cache file, all that. All you would do to rebuild it is you just hit the up button, the the up arrow button, and it'll just go back to your last command and you can just hit enter again as soon as you're done. So that's pretty easy. But we'll just get rid of all that for now. Oh shit, okay. There we go. 
have all that right there. And now for placing an AI, which is a little more complicated. A little, not, it's not crazy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of tiny little uh, things in the properties thing though. So minimize that, minimize that. All right. So for uh, getting AI into your game, you would uh, you do the same thing you do for weapons. You go to edit types because you need to get the tag first. And instead of uh, um, Jesus Christ, what am I trying to say? Instead of going to weapon, you go to uh, actor variant for actors. AI. Go to add, and instead of uh, instead of uh, actor variant, like it says for the tag, when you actually go to get the tag, you go to characters, and then you have all the tags, which uh, most of these should be there from when you ripped all the campaign tags into here. So uh, let's go with a grunt. So if you want a grunt, you just go to grunt, and you got a lot of uh, stuff. Got let's go with the spec ops. Oh, they don't even have a Spec Ops Plasma Pistol. Um, let's go Major... Major with a Plasma Pistol. There we go. Uh, yeah, I double-clicked that one, so it's in there. There we go. Now, we go down to the AI tab right here. You expand that. You go to Encounters. You click New Instance. And then this will be... You can... Uh, I guess name this whatever you want. We'll just call it Grunt. Um, most of this stuff it does not matter. I don't think any of this matters except, uh, this. We'll set the, the team index. You got default team, so a default Grunt would be on the Covenant. And then you can get, you got, uh, side one, the player side. Two, the UNSC. Three, the Covenant. Four, Flood. Five, Sentinels. And then you got... Uh, teams 5 through 8. So we'll have it on player, which may not, for multiplayer, it might not work. They might all be hostile, so I'm not sure. But we'll set it to that. Uh, search behavior, normal, never tenacious. You can mess around with that and see what happens. Uh, respawn delay, I don't think that matters in this mode right here. But after you're done with this, and you can have respawn enabled right here, which will make sure they spawn in the game right here, but either way, it, they should spawn once you actually get in in-game, in custom edition. So, that should, this should be all we need to do for this. So you expand the grunt, that little thing, whatever that's called. You go to squads, you make a new instance, expand that, do that, uh, gr grunts and this is basically this can only be this entire squad can only be one um one actor luckily we only ex uh, did one actor hold on all right so yeah the actor type is the the tag you just ripped um a lot of this stuff like platoon a lot of these flags um if I had, if I was able to look into the campaign missions, I'd probably be able to understand what these did a little better, but I can't, so... Uh, a lot of this stuff, it doesn't really matter. A lot of it's self-explanatory, like, never search, but... Unused, start timer immediately, magic sight, auto automatic migration, some of this is like, uh, what? Um, the unique leader type... I think that's for, for if well that's been I know what that does for marines like if you spawn like a bunch of basic marines like the basic armored marines with assault rifles if you turn that on every once in a while sergeant johnson or the other sergeant will spawn with them even though you selected that tag um the initial state uh, a lot of this stuff is for like move points which we'll get to a in a little bit um Maneuver to squad. Again, I... That's kind of self-explanatory. Like, if you made a new squad. 
and then you uh, have the maneuver to it. I'm not sure exactly. Again, I can't... Half the stuff I can't <laughs> actually figure out what it does because the campaign, I can't open it. Then you got Major Upgrade, which if we had... Uh, if we did Grunt Miners... What, that would upgrade a few of them to majors, which I think I think the minors are orange and the 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 majors are red for grunts. But now we'll get to all the stuff we actually can set, which is um, pretty much a lot of the stuff in the bottom here. So a big thing, uh, one of the videos I watched about setting up AI in Sapien said that this is this is basically like uh, morale ish. But it's not. This is referring to the difficulty count. For example, if you wanted, um, I think it must be split into like a easy, normal, heroic, legendary. So it's like easy and normal are the normal count, and then heroic and legendary are the insane count. Or maybe normal is the first three and insane is legendary. But either way, this is the number of guys that spawn. So. If we were playing normal, if we want two guys to spawn, we have two. If we go up to legendary, let's say we want four to spawn. I figured that out the hard way. Took a while. <laughs> oh, and we don't worry about, you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Uh, once, we, once we come back in here, after we finish this up, save it up, and do that stuff... All this stuff, it'll pretty much be the, the entire alphabet capitalized in all of these boxes. Not sure what the hell that does. Probably best not to touch it. Uh, major upgrade, all these guys are major, so we'll leave that on normal. But you got uh, normal, few, many, none, all. Uh, respawn minimum actors. You can set all of this to zero because we don't want anything to respawn yet. So... Uh, now it's pretty much the same as placing a weapon or the player spawn. You right click. The f oh, nah, you expand that. You go to starting locations. Then you right click. And we want two grunts to spawn on normal. And on legendary, there would be four. So we'll, we'll add four spots, but we're going to go on... I think the game is set to normal automatically, so there will only be two spawns. So, we have four spawns right there. Uh, we spawn, like, right about there or something. And these things are set to the player side. So, hopefully that'll work. But if they're not, it's four grunts. How much damage can they do? And, yeah, that's actually spawning the AI. Now move positions. Um, again, you place those the exact same way. And, uh, we'll need to go back into the... We'll need to go back to the initial and return states after this, but we'll just go place some, uh... Move locations. There we go. And now... Go back to the squad we have. And the initial state, I think, is, uh... I'm, I'm... I'm not sure. I think you'd probably want to keep both of these the same. You got sleeping, alert, guarding... Uh, guarding at guard position, searching, and fleeing. But pretty much, I'm pretty sure all of these require a move position. Except sleeping and alert. And guarding. But guarding at guard position, that might require one. Searching, they'd probably just go search all these. And then fleeing, they'd flee to a move position. But we want to look at these. So we got... What is that? Moving? Moving, repeat, same position. Not really sure what that means. Uh, looping, bet, loop. Moving, loop. I think that will pretty much just... Uh, loop... Just like this. Just go, go in a loop forever. Um, moving repeat same position. Not sure what that means. Loop back and forth. 
I think with that, I think that's tracing. So instead of looping like this, instead of going from five to zero, it'd go down like this, and then it'd go back up like this. So it'd be like retracing your steps instead of just going in a circle. Um, moving loop randomly, I think they would just go randomly to uh, whichever, whichever move point the game decides. Uh, moving randomly, I think that might be they just move to one position randomly. So it just, they just choose randomly which one of these to move to and then they just stop. Which, moving back and forth, uh, moving repeat same position. I'm not sure what the hell that means. So uh, we'll set both of these to moving loop randomly so that all four... Well, I guess two grunts are just kind of moving randomly. And, uh... If you do want to do respawns, you would pretty much... Like, uh... Well, off, right off the bat, we have two... Two grunts that are going to spawn on normal difficulty. So... This is basically like, uh... Jesus. Let's say you wanted... 10 respawns in total. So you want 10 more grunts to spawn after these two, so... You would have, a uh... Shit. Minimum actors. I guess you could have- you gotta have one... and four. Since we have four positions, the max would probably- probably be four. Although you can do that, you can go, like, way above. You can have, like, one little spawn position and have, like, five guys spawn from it, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, uh, basically they'll just, they'll just keep respawning until ten have respawned. And then the respawn minimum, minimum actors and respawn max, I think, is each wave that respawns. And then you got respawn delay, so. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Can I... Uh, zero? <laughs> okay. There we go. I guess don't leave it empty. Wow. But we don't want any respawns yet. Again, you can mess around with all this stuff. All that's really important is just getting the spawns in there and setting normal count and insane count. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of stuff. 45 minutes. Holy. Okay, let's get this... Uh, done. So, uh, we already have the scenario done. So, there we go. Save that. Minimize. Up arrow. Enter. And it'll redo all that stuff. There we go. Halo Custom Edition. And uh, LAN Timberland Go to my random one that is there for some reason and load in Slayer. here and yep the I Almost called them orcs uh, the grunts attacked Which they are not set to my team uh, Game options new game uh, Change color I mean, I assume, I assume you're one team, so you, I guess you just have to go through each team until you find the allied one. Yeah, yeah, they despawned. But yeah, that they spawned in, and they were right there, they kind of shot at me, there wasn't much time to look at them. But, uh, yeah, I think this is, this has gone on for a little long, so I think I'll, I'll end it quick here. Um... There's still a lot I don't know about this editor. But all that is pretty pretty reliable. I've I've messed around with placing weapons and uh, placing AI especially and all those little properties. I've messed around with that a lot. So I'm pretty confident in all that stuff and actually getting Sapien to work, which is the most important part. That that took the longest to figure out.
the fact that you just have to install all that stuff in the correct order. But, um, yeah, hopefully that made sense. It, uh, I actually had to script out a little bit of what I was going to say. Not script out. I have, like, nine bullet points for each little point because I tried to record this several times. And I was, I was, like, bouncing back and forth. Like, you have to extract these tags and load up Sapien, but then you go extract these tags. So it was a little little hectic, and it felt a little hectic this time when I was explaining it. At least during the end there. But hopefully it all makes sense. Um, I'll try to answer any questions the best I can. There's uh, a lot of stuff I don't know. Actually, I want to see one thing quick. I want to see if I can... If I can get... I want... I, yeah, I want... If I could open any map, it would be Two Betrayals. Probably my favorite map. But I want to see if I can... If I move the actual .map file into Halo Custom Edition. Um, then run the... Run Halo... Oh, right there. Ha run Halo Editing Kit Plus on it. I want to see if I can actually get this open because I th I was thinking about that. I never actually moved the .map file into Custom Edition. I just stripped the tags from a uh, Jesus uh, from the base game. So I already opened this, so it'll probably go quick. But uh, because if I could look at these maps, the campaign maps, and figure out, you know, all this flag stuff and the triggers and that type of stuff, I could really make a lot more videos and go in way more depth about mission making and stuff like that. You know, scripting. It'll, it'll take a while to reverse engineer that, but I did it with Ghost Recon, which I... I haven't done one of these in a long time, or any of the Ghost Recon ones, the Igor editor ones, but... There's still some stuff for that I I could cover. Well, it's ripping stuff, it looks like. It looks like it took a little bit of effort. All right, let's see. Let's... What the... F oh, okay. Let's see if I can open it now that the map file is actually there. Um... Yeah, it got ripped to C40 here, scenario. Instant, oh shit. Oof. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of errors. Okay, let's see if this opens. I don't think, yep, nope, okay. Yeah. Gonna have to find some way to look into all that, the scripting and stuff, but right now, all, all that I showed you is about how much I know of this editor. But once I figure out how to open those missions, I can definitely go crazy. But if you made it all the way here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will, if you have questions, I'll try and do my best to answer it if, uh, my rambling was a little unclear. I'll try and do my best to clean that up. Clear it up. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in whatever I decide to do next time, which is usually some dumbass game. But, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.